We need to save our planet. We all need to be responsible. It is imperative we reduce our footprint on this wonderful planet. Just what can be done? Our next speaker has many green ideas to share with us today. Jerry Morgan, let it be, oh let it be green. Let it be, oh let it be green, Jerry Morgan. Toastmasters and our most welcome guest, Summer. I have a question for all of you. How do you flush 27,000 trees down the toilets? My answer is one sheet at a time. The a average American on a daily, every day, uses 57 sheets of this. With over 300 million people plus, that equates to 17 billion 828,000 sheets. That also relates to approximately 10,980,000 trees. If you don't believe that is a major deforestation to our planet, you are wrong. It is. But we Americans lead the world in use of this. We use on the average 25 rolls a year. There's people that use more, people that use less. Europeans, for example, use only eight rolls a year. The Asian population of the world uses only one fourth of this a year. So you can see it's widespread. What can we do to help our planet and not deforest our lands? Well, I have some suggestions for you. One of them, let's go back and take a historical look at the thing that we call toilet paper. It was invented in 1391, a hundred years before Columbus landed in America by a Chinese emperor. And there was a lot of history between that and 1999 when the Japanese came up with a sit-down wash basin. And I'll get into that in just, just a few moments. But some of the other things that have been tried have been Sears and Robux catalogs many years ago. You don't see those anymore. Uh, leaves have been used. Now you have to be careful with leaves. Make sure you get the right kind. <laughs> you get the wrong kind, like you don't know what poison oak looks like or poison <laughs> ivy, you could be in serious trouble. There are also other methods that I choose not to discuss because it's just really <laughs> not even worth considering. It's, it's nasty. But there are a few that I want to share with you. And these are recent ones. One is the family cloth. Now let me explain what a family cloth is. It's basically 100% cotton t-shirts that are no longer fit for wear that are cut and to whatever size you want, be this size or whatever, you use them. You have this bucket over here that you throw them in. It's kind of like 
cloth divers, divers of the 50s. <laughs> then you wash them and reuse them. I guess you can put your name on them so nobody else, <laughs> else has a lot But I, I, I don't think that's, that's an appropriate <laughs> solution to our problem. Take, let's take seaweed, for example. How many of you have heard of toilet paper made out of seaweed? That's, that's a, sounds viable, doesn't it? And let me tell you why it is, appears to be viable. One, seaweed has a gelatin-like texture, and when you make toilet paper out of it, the toilet paper is softer and more velvety than this three-ply stuff. So it feels great. Uh, the problem, well, the other thing is it has an excellent particular transfer ratio, so you don't have to use as much of it. But it is a limited resource. Now there's bamboo, and there's hemp, and those are in the infancy. But what I wanted, what I think is the solution to getting rid of this is is the Kohler C two hundred, and it was. An idea that I told you the Japanese developed the sit-down wash basin in 1999. The Americans came up with an embellished idea. Let me tell you all the features of this. It has, it's made out of plastic. It's never going, you never going to have to replace it. One-time cost. Now, mind you, that cost is list price $1,748. That's immaterial in this discussion. Anything to save the planet. S secondly, we all like our gadgets. And we're in the computer age. Have you ever thought of having a remote controlled toilet seat so you don't have to use toilet paper? The features of this is two water nozzles that for anterior and posterior. You can program it like you can program your car seat. My wife, she's short, she needs a car seat up. I need it back, so we can program a car seat. You can program your toilet seat for two users so that it knows who's sitting on it. Now, it doesn't become active until somebody sits on it. And, and when you're sitting on it, and it's a cold morning, you can press the remote, and there's three temperature settings so you can have a nice warm seat. The other thing it has is a charcoal filter. So, you know, for those smells that nobody likes to smell, even yourself, you can take care of that. You don't have to use toilet paper because you press the button <coughs> and warm water comes out and rinses you off. And then you say, how, how do I dry off? Well, this one has a three-speed fan of warm air that blows until you're dry. The other feature I think is fantastic on this is it's got a built-in nightlight. And why would you why would you want a built-in nightlight in, in your toilet seat? I had to think on that one, but my wife lived in Charleston, South Carolina. And, and back in the South they have a lot of bugs that come out at night, and especially cockroaches. And cockroaches love the dark. They hate the light. So with the nightlight, you never have to worry about forgetting to turn the light on in the bathroom and sitting on bugs. The light was all, always on. <laughs> this thing is just, just remarkable. And to have a remote, it's just, I mean, this world is all technology. Why not have it in your toilet seat? This morning, I was sitting in my bathroom got this great big picture window, and outside that picture window is a tree. As I sat there, I said, let it be, oh, let the tree be, because I've got my Kohler C200. <laughs> <laughs>